ID Tech Tools. This is a demo to show you the my latest mapping for the Akai AMX device for Tractor Pro 2 and 3. The Akai AMX is a very small device, very portable, and this is the, by far the cheapest and simplest way to unlock DVS, where you have the whole thing, because it's like a Z1, a mixer, plus an X1 with transport, plus DVS. On the latest Tractor Pro 3, as you know, DVS is unlocked, so this is the simplest way to unlock DVS. And with this mapping, you get every single feature of Tractor Pro. Uh, there is a full manual with every single detail of the, of the mapping. It's quite complex because there is many layers, many shifts. It means that this is a function with a shift, is another function, with another shift, is another function, and so on. Uh, but first I'm going to show you an overview of the features. I'm just going to show you things without explaining. The explanation is going to be on the second part of this video. So let's hear something. For the Mixer FX, the filter, plunger, Time Gator Crush Noise For macro effects, they were from Tractor Pro 2 They are laser splicers Light test Dark Matter, Granul Phase, Zurp, Stretch, Batomatic, and this is a, another filter but a resonant one with an effect. For the pad effects, there is five pages of the effects. This is a bit measure. This mapping originally was made by Stewie. Thank you for that. I extended this significantly, I think. And this is his signature effect. Pretty cool. And there is more effects, for example. Uh, for the user effects, you have the delay very easily accessible, flanger and reverb. Regarding loops, first let's see this. Can make loops. You can choose the size. Oh, this. You can choose the size. For example, a big loop, an auto loop of four. You can uh, uh, do big jumps. specific uh, uh, side movements to open this to show yeah so imagine that you want to move just by one like this uh, you have the tractor pro slip slip reverse you have six cues. Number one, you can delete them, create new, 
always with cheap combinations. You have four decks, so this is one. Let's get the second one, and you can easily toggle between them. Now we have this is this one, and this is this one. And you can go back. Not that it changes the layout automatically. Uh, you have um, a sampler, so like this. You can adjust the volume and the and the pitch. You can stop. Okay. Uh, you can uh, adjust the key. Is uh, like this. No, like this. Yeah, let me get a better example to show this. No, like. up or down and reset you have a job effect simulation and you have a filter roll So this was the, the short demo, there is more stuff, you have, um, you can control, you can adjust the bit grid, for example. Now I'm going to show you uh, the, 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 the mapping in detail, and I'm going to go step by step on the manual. I suggest you do the same if you are seeing this video. Uh, and then just try the functions until this whole thing becomes second nature. There is a lot of shifts, for sure, but because you are always pressing the same buttons, I found pretty easy to know exactly where to press because the, 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 me the, the mechanical uh, knowledge comes there where you know which combinations to, to press. And the most important thing is that this shift affects each side. So this is for the left side, this is for the right side. But this shift only affects the left deck even if you touch the button on the other side. I'm going to show all these in great detail. So first, how to navigate the, 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 the mapping? In the beginning, you, um, you press shift to load, maybe let me, let me show you how to, how to start from scratch. So I'm going to install the mapping. To install the mapping, you go to, to your settings, go to click import, and then load your load your the mapping and do this twice because it's a well-known tractor bug otherwise the effect list is not correct so you do it twice and then to be sure you go to the controller manager and confirm that all these six pages are with all ports then you are good, good, good to go in the beginning all lights are on and you initialize the mapping pressing shift. Now it's uh, ready. This also turns the volumes down and puts everything in a known state and so on and so forth. Then this is the main page where the buttons do what they tell. You press panel, you go to the macro effects page where these is no longer shift and Q and sing and all these things and play. Here you select which effect to use. 
flight path, laser slicer and so on. And then you select, for example, laser slicer, you press again, and now you are on the main page again, but laser slicer is still there, and so on. Same story for shift and panel. These go to the, to the pen effects page, where you select these kind of effects. So this is the state machine how to go from any any page to any page. Then on the main page, you have these three buttons which are five shifts. So this is one, this is another, and this is another. This one affects both decks as you touch the, the, the controls. This only affects the left deck. If you do this, if you do this, and this is only again the left deck. If you want the right deck, then you press this guy, and then this is only affecting the right deck, even if you touch the controls on this on this side. I'm going to give examples in a moment. And this is the right shift with with modifier. Next topic: the main page, a transport. So already discussed this. The buttons do what they what they tell, load doesn't do anything, that's another shift. Um, gain, this is gain, and this is normal equalization, nothing special here. Note that all these commands have soft takeover, which means that you need to grab, you need to grab the control, because this button will be used for something else, for example, in this, in this example, delay, so it can be anywhere. Now, all of them, if it's supposed to be in the middle, then you, you grab them, like, like I showed you. All of them. Especially the filter and so on. Okay. Next, next page, with the main shift, with load, you can load the track. So let's get something else. We press shift and load this side or this side. Okay. With sync, you select the master deck. So, very common. With Q, we go to the beginning, just like the original Serato version, nothing special here. Uh, with play, you do the slip reverse. With the beginning, with shift and Q mix, this guy here, you zoom in, and shift and gain, you do a quick search. Note that this is this when you press shift, information is here. It tells you that you are controlling the deck number one, deck number two on the other side, and the position of where you are, you are, where you are on the track. Okay. Next, for loops, you press the left shift for the left deck. If you were working on the right deck, it would be this guy, of course. And here, you select with gain the loop size. If you press load, which is right next to it, it makes a 4 bit regardless of this value. Because with a 4 bit, you have enough time to make it smaller or bigger as you want. And then you don't have to worry if it was a very small value, like this guy here. With this guy here, you with load with the other load, but still with the original shift, you you select the size that you want, the big one or a small one. For example, like this, you select if you really want a small one, you could do this. And when you press shift, it shows you the loop size 
that you are selecting. This is still the deck one and deck two. Okay. Very, very closely related. Uh, beat jump and loop move. So you select your size, for example, 16, 16 and then press, always pressing the same shift, you now change the brows and you are going 16 by 16 or any other volume you want, 32 for example. With this modif with this, when you're pressing the, the deck shift, the left one, and then press this one, this is now something related. It will be the loop move, for example. Now I'm moving the loop instead of the beat position. For cues, again, base patterns, it's always the same thing, you always press the same shift, the left one, and now this these buttons are six cues, and you press with the main one to delete, just like on the normal. So another example in the beat, well, where she sings like this, and now we have in the beginning. Okay, where well, they showed how to delete. Then we go to tempo control, again always the same shift, so you press deck shift and the other volume is now tempo, so let's get, this is tempo, pitch bend, and with the two shifts is the tempo control. So now, now don't get confused because with this one is loop size, with this one is tempo control. Now, if I was working on the other deck, it's everything symmetric. So this is now the loops of this guy, and if you want the tempo, it will be like this, and like this. If you want to change the tempo range, <coughs> you pass the 2 and now you press the shift, uh, the filter, and now I'm changing the tempo range to whatever value I want. With the main shift, and now let's let's search, let's 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 move ourselves inside the track. I already show this with the main shift and, and gain. You go uh, inside the track, and with the, the main shift, if the deck is stopped, you can go to a specific place, and, uh, and then you can zoom in, for example, and go exactly where you want. Okay. So even more shifts. <laughs> There's a lot of shifts, like I said. Um, if you press your shift on the other side, it will reset the gain. So whatever value you have, it will be immediately zero. Of course, you can adjust by hand if you want. Um, if you press the shift, the main shift, and then the other one, is key lock on and on, on and off. And if you do load instead, you are going to deck 3. Note that it's shown here. So now I'm on deck 3. So I'm controlling this guy and doing everything on deck 3 while deck, deck, two, deck 1 is going on. So all the tempo, all the volume, the sleep reverse, everything. So let's go back and note that the, the layout changes automatically. So it's easy to get something playing there. Actually, I'll have to stop. Okay. Don't forget that everything is with soft takeover, so you have to grab the controls like I did just now. 
Okay. Uh, let's continue. On the browser, so here you select which track, nothing special here. And if you press Shift to change the folder, if you press, you open and close your tree. These, the loads that don't do anything in normal situations, they always require a combination. If you press just load, this will show you the um, this will show you the uh, this will go um, in page down. So let me show you an example with a lot of music, for example, right here. So this is a large one, and then you go page down by page down, which is really convenient when you have a lot of tracks instead of going like this. That's with the load. If you go the other load, you go you go the favorites step by step. And if you press while going load, you do the magnifier. If, that's important if you have a small screen. Let's continue. Uh, still on the browser. Imagine that you are listening. Let me show you like this. So this is the headphones, you are listening to the other track, for example, uh, to, to this track. You have a preview player where you listen to any track on the, on the browser uh, without loading tracks on the text. It's really convenient. For example, let's, let's hear this one. So you press. Now it's loading, now it's playing on the headphones, here, and then you can seek. So this is really convenient, because you, 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 you search for a track, you listen a bit, oh, I don't like this one, release, you go to where you were, by the way, and now let's listen to this one. Okay, that's the one I want, so I load it. <clears throat> Next topic is the, the filter. The filter is heavily overloaded. Let's guess. It's like this. The filter is heavily overloaded because here, as, as uh, I showed in the demo in the beginning, you have the original filter, the, the mixer effects, the macro effects, and so on. So, how do, how do you do this? Uh, and I'm going to do the same but slower. You press panel once, and now this is blinking, and now you are selecting which which of the eight filters you want, and then it's immediate, immediately active. So this is a laser slicer, flight test, dark matter, bathomatic, ground phase. This is the resonance filter. So note that all this, it's a bit, it all looks the same on the buttons, but they go to different places. So this is this guy here. And then if you press, and if you press um, the, uh, if you change with the, the, the filter itself, you go to your mixer effect, time gator, Crush, noise, and flanger. Note that you can change the effect, I'm going to show you that in a moment. You can also sh select them by shift, and then you press like this. So this is flanger, crush, noise, and gator. Now, on this mode, you can access any of them just by pressing, like I'm showing and so on. If you and then whatever you you, you you keep it, flight test, now you exit, now it's there. On main page and on the pad effects page. Still there. So this is the one with the reverb and so on. The one that you can change always in any place is this one which is the mixed effects. Let's get time gator again.
Uh, you have a toggle. With, with touch, you turn on and turn off the effects. Any of these effects that you are discussing. And if you get a, a situation where um, uh, there is uh, one of the effects, uh, when you want to turn off every, all the effects, if you press these two buttons, they t always turn off. So this is your escape button where it turns off uh, your, and cancels any effect that might be running. That's a safety feature. For pad effects, so you go like this. You press shift and gain. Nope, I'm on. I was on a different page. I was on macro effects. This is the pad effects is solid. And here, you select which page you want. For example, page two. And then this one enables all three. Or you do toggle style. <clears throat> and then the bit measure, quite cool. Made by Stewie. So let's get actually like this. That's a bit measure. Pretty cool. So let's next one. With the job effects, so you enable touch and turn on, turn it on here. This, this has to be turned on by hand on purpose because now <coughs> when you touch the browser, the browser is no longer working on purpose. You get the bit mesh and a filter and a reverb and then you do it like this. story for the filter roll but now on the filter so what you do is get the loop out you grab you grab a bit and do it like this Next one, ah, for key control, you go to either pad effects or mixer effects, you press the, the left uh, shift, this is up, this is down, and this is reset. You can also press uh, the on main on the main page you can also adjust the key by this there is a sampler so you go to you go to the pad effects page and then press shift and this tree At the beginning, nothing will happen because the volume is down. That's on purpose. That's a safety. And first, let's turn on the volume. You press shift and the right uh, volume. Notice that the layout opens automatically. You are still controlling, of course, the two decks, the two top decks. But now, with this way, you have a way to control the fourth deck in a remix decks mode. Like this. And you can stop pressing this button. So again, it's always the same shift because you press like this and you adjust the volume here and the pitch here. Uh, if you want to select your own manual effects, you can do it. You go to the main page, if you press the main shift, it is delayed automatically, 
flanger and reverb and this one works in every any page with the left one it's for macro effects so it turns off automatically and you select which one you want so for example this is uh, Zurp and flight that so as long as you depress any button it, it cancels automatically so this is a way to select any effect you want or you go to panel and select the one you want with the button with the other shift you go in a different way you select which effect for example delay then you select the parameter and then you do the right way Uh, so again. For more functions, this is a master dry wet. So let's get a delay. You all can always, like you have a, an on off button, you also have a, a master dry wet that affects every unit. With the main shift, is a pan. You cannot hear, but it's stereo. <laughs> this will not. You cannot hear this on the video, but it's a pan. And with this shift is the resonance value, this guy here, of the filter. That's pretty cool because now we can, I can show you the original filter of Tractor uh, or on the on the mixer plus the effect. And what's the difference? So let me show you. So what we are going to do is we are going to the beginning, a loop, pad effects, and go to, um, actually first let's go to mixer effects, so we go to here, and this is the normal filter. And now I'm going to show you the resonant filter, so you select here. So it's a lot more punchy. And you can make it even, even more punchy. So this is the resonant filter, and this is the original. It's a lot on the sound that you are hearing uh, trying these things. Um, you can uh, just the key I already showed that. You can change the layout. So um, you can uh, with the main search, you can select the micro and bigger, bigger, bigger until the parallel waveforms of tracker. If you do this. Uh, let's get this one will um, like this with the, with this shift you select the layout two decks four decks and now that I have four decks I can show you that this controls the top size and this controls the bottom decks the size of the bottom decks so really convenient. On the crossfader, uh, I normally have it e uh, disabled, and when I initialize the mapping, I make it disabled. You can enable it very easily by pressing Shift and touching the crossfader itself. Now it's enabled to whatever decks you have selected. If you want it off, you press the other Shift and touch it, and now it's dead. Regarding bit grids, you, have, you access a special mode, you press shift and the deck shift, main shift and deck shift like this, and then all of them are, all of them are uh, um, uh, uh, light, light, uh, uh, turned on, and now filter is a zoom, and 
volume is a slow search so that you can put your bit grid exactly in, in your place. For example, here you do with shift, you put the bit grid, and now another one, bit marker, and then another one, and so on. You delete them, and with the, the, the shift and the, the gain, you move. Uh, you adjust the <clears throat> you adjust the the BPM and you can slide the BPM like this to exit this mode you you you, you just uh, you just toggle uh, the the decks like I showed before and now it's again normal mode. Note that you can, without any problems, be running. You can be bit grid while you DJ. So you can have something playing. And now, hey shit, this 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 track, the, the left one is not good. While this is playing, the, the right one, you can very easily Go to bit grid mode, search, go to uh, to where you want, for example to the beginning, zoom in, and this is still, the other track is still doing the normal thing, all the function, the effects, everything. <clears throat> and then you adjust, you put here your, your bit grid, and, uh, and now you exit like this, and now it's ready. And now it's ready to, to go. Okay. You can also didn't show lock and unlock your track, out of bit grid and so on. For four decks, already showed this several times, but again, you do like this, now you're controlling the left one, the, the bottom one, uh, or you can, while you, when you are in bit grid, bit grid mode, for this deck, you can select one, two, three, or four, so you can have any, any deck in any place. The, t the common case is one and three, two and four, which you do like I showed already. Don't forget, you can always see what's going on by pressing shift in any place. It always shows you which deck you are. So deck three, deck one. So this is, that's it. Um, there is more stuff on the manual. So besides the step-by-step -step instructions that I sh just gave you, you have uh, every single layer with every single function where it shows what happens if you on the main page when you are not pressing any shift when you're pressing the main shift on the main page it's easy with different colors what happens when you are pressing the, the left shift and with combination like this what happens when you're pressing the right shift and its combination of course the macro effects page, as you remember, you select which macro effects you want. It has a shift. And the pad effects, same story with this shift. How do you control the browser? What are functions are on touch mode, which is the jog effects and the filter roll. How do you select the decks? How do you do the big grid? And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please send any comments, any feedback, any new features that you still think this mapping could 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 go could enter. <laughs> uh, I, I try to put everything that I do use uh, in every DJ set that I take my AMX with me. I didn't show uh, the DVS function, but I did test it. It works really well. Uh, it's really nice uh, where you have 
then you have, for example, turntables, CDJs, whatever, but you can still have all these effects, all this control, you can change. Uh, the, the, the forgot, now I remember that I didn't show, but with these, uh, with the main ones, you can put, you can put in full screen, for example, you can turn tooltips tool on and so on, just with, uh, with these functions. So, any feedback, be my guest, have fun, and uh, um, till the next time. Cheers! <laughs>